क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 इन द डायग्राम पी क्यू इंटरसेक्ट एल एम एट ओ पी क्यू इंटरसेक्ट एल एम एट ओ ऑन द डायग्राम कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट द लोकस ऑफ द पॉइंट्स दैट आर इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम लाइन पी क्यू एंड एल एम आई वांट यू टू कंसंट्रेट ऑन दिस टू लाइन सेगमेंट्स पी क्यू एंड एल एम राइट नाउ व्हाट यू नो दैट ड्रॉ द लोकस यू हैव डन बिफोर ड्रॉ द लोकस ऑफ द पॉइंट्स व्हिच आर इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम A, B, and B, C. When we have something like that, you can clearly see that there is a common point B. That means these two line segment intersect at B. So A, B line segment and B, C line segment draw the locus of the point which are equal distance from A, B, and B, C. This B is the vertex or common point. Okay, so it forms an angle. So the way we have done, we draw. an arc like that that arc intersect this a b and b c at two points and from there uh with center this and that we draw two pair one pair of um arc length like that and join this and this is the angle bisector and this angle bise bisector is the equal distance the point of the locus which is equal distance from both a b and b c now this one little different okay it it's not like this line segment that has a common point like this okay look at this pq and lm pq and lm they don't have any common point over here but they intersect at o so this one whatever you have the knowledge of this type of things if you extend this line and if you extend that line okay so ab extended to let's say uh, d and cb extended to e now if you are trying to find out the Uh, locus of the points which are equal distance from line ad ad and ce okay if you look closely it it looks exactly like that without having any common points okay so what we need to do this one we already have we have drawn that if we just extend that this angle bisector if we extend that this is going to be equal distance let me just draw this one over here draw a point so this point and this point, this line and this line perpendicular so these two are equal and same thing over here this line this perpendicular length they are equal okay but be careful when two line segments are intersect at a point like that it forms two pair of vertically opposite angle that means this angle equal to this angle they are vertically opposite angle there are another pair of vertical angle this and that over here we have only bisected one pair of vertically opposite angle we have to draw the uh, angle bisector over here as well that's what we are going to do over here okay so let's do that first what are we going to do we are going to draw a angle bisector of this two okay this two vertical angles like that and i'm going to draw two arc length intersecting arc length on the same side okay uh, having two centers from these two particular points and then it intersect over here and then i'm going to join this i'm going to use a different color so you can see that okay i'm using this is green one so that's that and i'm going to extend that so this is the angle bisector of this angle as well as this angle now i have to find the i have to draw the angle bisector of pom okay let's do that so i have one over here and i'll draw another arc length over here and a little bit bigger i'm going to draw draw one arc length here and with center this with the same radius i'm going to draw another one so i have a point here i have a point here so i'm going to use a blue one and then i'm going to join this point and this intersecting point and then extend it okay now these two lines okay these two lines are the locus of the points which are equal distance from pq and lm now when this this line is uh, 
uh, this line is the locus of the points which are equidistant from POM, POM, angle POM. It automatically is equidistant from LOQ, LOQ. Why? Because these two are vertically opposite angles. Okay. Same thing, this green line, it's... Uh, this this green line is the angle bisector of pol pol at the same time like before it also bisect this this angle m o q since these two are vertically opposite angle okay so you need to draw both of this line and extend it so a is done now b the locus of the points that are equidistant from o and q o and q now this is a lot easier you know that this is this is the um, uh, uh, yeah, line perpendicular bisector. So with center Q, I draw two arcs on two sides on the opposite side of OQ with the same radius. Now center O, I'm going to draw two more arc lengths so that it intersect the, uh, they intersect the previous arc length. And then we join it. Let me use red one. So that's that. Okay. Now this one is B. So this is B and this, this two line are A. Okay. The line that uh, bisect this uh, an angle bisector of POM or LOQ, that's A. And this A, let's put A1 and A2. And this A2 is the angle bisector of POL and QOM. These two are the locus of the points which are equidistant from PQ, uh, PQ and LM. I hope you understand that. If you don't, please see this video, this part once again. I hope you will understand. If you have any question, uh, obviously you can write down in the inbox. Okay. And uh, I'm going to do question number 19 now. Thank you.